what hardiness approach does is we eat a very balanced diet a, a good protein a good carbohydrate a good vegetable which is a non-starchy vegetable and um, a good fat small amounts We're going to show you what we're going to be wearing at the Homesteaders of America conference in what day is that? The 14th. The 14th. In Virginia. Last time we went, really our first conference while we've been being Hardiness Approach, we went to the Mother Earth News Fair in Albany, Oregon, and people were looking for us, found out we were there and said, we didn't see you. Well, we probably passed them and they we didn't stand out from anybody. So we figured we needed to do something recognizable. So we're going to put this down. So we're just going to be wearing our green shirts and it says hardiness approach and it says sustainable living in place. So this is what but we're, we're both wearing. wearing the same color which catches a little bit of attention to begin with and it's a nice green that stands out a bit. <laughs> a bright green. Not that we're trying to be weird, but we're trying to be distinguishable so that... So uh, if you know see. you're going to be there... And, and you, you want to meet us. If you don't want to meet us, then this is a way you can be sure to avoid us. <laughs> but see us and come over and introduce yourselves because we won't know who you are just by, oh, that's... There's one I'll know for sure. Yep. I'm excited to see you. <laughs> so, all right. Stand up. All right, can you tell, what's your name? Winston. Winston, and remember? Theodore. Theodore. Oops, I need to raise it up just a little bit. Theodore, you're tall. Yep, I am growing. And what are we going to do today? Pick some um, tomatoes We're and gonna... some cucumbers. All right, Look we're gonna this. pick their Look garden. The bell pepper. Yeah, we're gonna get everything. Oh, here, Winston. This. Winston, here's one for you to get. That's right here. A huge one. There's one on there. Oh. Can you get this? Oh, you're gonna cut it. We'll put it in the basket. Here, we'll put the basket right there. I'm just gonna Ooh, eat one. Can I use the Got a cucumber. I got a cucumber. I That's got a zucchini. Oh, zucchini. I got a zucchini. Oh, I, I got it. a zucchini. Put it in. Oh, no, Winston, that one's not ready. That's, oh, no, that one's more than ready, honey. It is? Yeah, oh. those are all ready. I'm just trying to focus. Those are cucumbers, what? so they're way too big. I'm so really pretty. Yeah. Look at how pretty. How pretty. <laughs> okay. Are we done? I think so. Okay, Winston. What? You carry the basket, Theodore. Let's put these over by the vegetables that I have outside of my door. Okay. See you with that. Okay. <laughs> Can you turn it? There you go. Thank you, helpers. What do you think, Winston? Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Now try it. Here we are, another great day. We're adjusting to a new time zone, slowly and surely. Uh, we, we keep going to bed too late and waking up too late. It's, it's a struggle. We're learning. It's hard. We want to share something today that, that we're realizing, not realizing, we've known. But it ha one of our themes that you hear from us a lot has to do with food. And you'd think we had this fixation on food. You know, you're actually right. <laughs> Based on what we believe. You know, seriously, our experience has been you are what you eat, no doubt about it. And so it's important. It's a significant part of 
your day. I mean, you eat a lot every day if you're eating correctly. You're going to put a lot in there, and if you're eating the right things, you're going to get healthy. If you're eating the wrong things, you'll get unhealthy. You'll get sick. You'll have disease. you got to eat right. That said, we all have things that are our... They are our pet thing. D different, different foods. Different, different values of what is important to us. Um, no matter who I talk to, it's like you're, you're right in the straight line of where we are and then you deviate. Or, you know, we're in the straight line of where they are and then they deviate or we deviate. And by that I mean, I'm going to tell you some of the things that are really important to us. And then what we'd like you to do is put in the comments, what are some of the things that are the most important thing? If you can only look out for two things, what would that be? But we're going to give you more than two. We don't eat margarine. You can give us more than two. Yes, you, you can. <laughs> we do not eat margarine. We do not do oils. And it is so hard. Most of the oils. Yeah. We, we do olive oil and coconut oil. Uh, sometimes sesame oil we will do, but you have to watch how you're cooking things. We never use uh, canola oil. Safflower oil and um, sunflower oil are very, very prominent in most of the things that are, you'll most find the in the store. Most foods that you'll eat in the store. And soy, soybean oil. So we, we do not eat those. What are some other things that we absolutely don't eat? Uh, things with some type of sugar in it. You know, it, it, and you look at the labels. We've talked about this a lot. Uh, there's a lot of names for sugar. And uh, the higher on the list of ingredients it is, the more sugar there is. And uh, what's interesting is there may be four kinds of sugar listed in there, and they're all fairly high on the list. <laughs> so you, you got to know the names of sugar, and you got to watch for it on the we list. We do it use is. sugar. We use very, very, very reduced amounts. We use coconut sugar. We use honey. We use maple syrup. And sometimes we use um, sucanat. I can never get that word right, but it's the raw sugar, organic. We don't eat nitrates in our meat. Um, we don't do hydrogenated foods. What else? What do we eat? And now, absolutely. Do we eat anything? <laughs> we do. And now, since um, Justin Rhodes and Rebecca were with us, they are totally organic. And I realized that we're eating all this other food, but we hadn't gone completely organic yet. So we're still getting pesticides in us. Yeah. So now we switch to organic. The right foods coated in the wrong stuff exactly. is going to hurt you. So, and then what hardiness approach does is we eat a very balanced diet. A, a good protein, a good carbohydrate, a good vegetable, which is a non-starchy vegetable, and um, a good fat. Small amounts, um, avocados are very good, um, olive oil, we eat... So, so two questions, what's, what's a good protein? A good protein, eggs, kale, quinoa, um, meat. What's what's a good carb? Your starchy vegetables are an excellent carb. So you have your starchy vegetables and your non-starchy vegetables, and your starchy vegetables are a very good carb. Another good carb is fruit. Yep, yep. So we. Um, and you have to balance them. If you eat only carbs, or only fruit, your body's not getting what it needs. In fact, you're you're not going to be happy with the results. You, you've got to eat some of everything. And you know, one thing we've never really talked about, and we need to, uh, on a future video, go into detail about the balance and, and the the percentages of each depending on the foods. I mean, there's a lot of variety and that comes down sometimes, to, not sometimes, comes down to the biodiversity. What's your body like? What do you need? What kinds of activities are you involved in? Um, yeah. You know, are, but, a, lot of, a lot of considerations. But when we try to have a snack, we'll try to have all four of them. So we may have nuts, some cheese, um, some fruit, and a vegetable so that we are covering all four of them well, at once. For my, my, bra my 
uh, grazing that I do at work. Uh, I, I, today, Wait. the last few days, I've had nuts, I have had coconut, I've had tomatoes, and I've had raisins. Okay, and we call it the four pack snack, um, being able to put four items together. So share with us what's important to you, and um, we'll see, because everybody's different. We don't have to eat gluten-free, but we certainly are eating L limited amounts. Limited amounts. Uh, so that we, you know, don't have the not, wheat not belly. because of the gluten, but because you need a little bit of it. You don't need a lot of it, and many many foods are containing some type of flour-based baked item. Uh, there's a lot of that. So a little bit's great. A lot is not better. Hope to see you there. And if you're not going. Uh, we're going to do what we can to share what happens there so you can have a good idea of what's going on at, the, at a conference like that where homesteading is the key discussion. Like. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Share. Bye.